Hey guys and welcome back, I am Zemor the Dad in DPS and today as you can guess we are back once again with the Purveyor with yet another 3000 script. But before we get into that don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe, it really helps out the channel and helps motivate me into making more videos for you guys in the future. Alrighty, so we are on with our first character, let's see what we get for the first pick of the day. Exterminator's short radium rifle, obviously not great. The damage to Mirelux doesn't really affect a lot of things. You've got the plus limb damage and the agility which are okay but in general not a good weapon. Probably good if they ever bring out um, Mirelux daily ops but yeah at the moment bad. Very bad. Now we've got Mutant Slayer's short combat rifle. Again not that great but at the same time it is something that you could use for daily ops. Um, maybe on a commando build of some kind but yeah not not the best weapon the specific damage types on certain enemies it just never tends to be that great all right so this one's a little bit more interesting vampire short western revolver we've got the plus limb damage and the faster reload speed the reload speed on this is actually a good idea because obviously you can um reload faster and the gun itself will only have well, only about six rounds in the chamber, so, well not chamber, in the the spinny thing, I don't know what you would call that. Um, so that is definitely a good idea to have something like that on a vampire weapon. Let's see. Furious short plasma pistol. Now obviously with Furious and then the faster fire rate, that does technically make it okay. Um, not the best weapon to have that those um, things on, mind you, because it's not exactly the most powerful weapon in the game either. Um, but actually something decent for definite. Next up, Assassin's Harpoon Gun. Ugh, I always get really bad heavy weapons, don't I? Um, yeah. I, I don't even think harpoon guns are particularly useful in PvP, I could be wrong. Um, plus 33% VATS hit chance and perception, I, I really don't know if they're a good thing on this gun. If I was going to use it, I probably would be using VATS though, that's for certain. Alrighty, Exterminator's minigun, again, same problem with the previous Exterminator's item, it's not exactly the best effect. Vats critical shots doing extra damage is not great on a gun like this if I'm honest, but it does have the 25% less Vats action point cost, so when you combine the two it could be okay for just killing Mirelux, but again we'd need a daily op for Mirelux for that to be useful in my opinion. So we've got four more to go. Suppressors already garbage. Um, let's move on. Uh, two shot 50 cal machine gun. This one's actually not too bad. Um, obviously because it's two shot and the f well, I'd rather the fire rate was explosive. That would make it very good. Um, but the fire rate on there, yeah, it would definitely definitely um help this gun to to do some decent damage. Uh, I'd need to test it out to see. I think I've got another one in my boxes. It could be um, faster fire rate as well for all I know. Um, let's see, Berserker's Ultra Sight Gatling Laser. Yeah, Berserker's ain't good either. The other abilities are not too bad. The plus 10 percent damage and the faster movement speed while aiming because heavy guns make you slow as hell. Um, it's okay, uh, but yeah, yeah, I'd have to really work on a Berserker's build for that to really matter. And more often than not, I find Berserkers would be better used on a stealth build rather than like a big heavy weapon build. So the last one for this character, and it's actually not bad. Um, ignores 50% armor, 25 faster fire rate, and then faster reload. Those two together make this actually quite usable. And if you combine the fact that... Um, it's anti-armor, which has a decent effect. Yeah, definitely a usable gun for certain. So we're on to the second character, and let's see if we get anything good. First pick, bloody short plasma pistol. I mean, the limb damage, the less vats cost, and bloodied, it's a weapon that's usable, especially if you're using like a bloodied commando build of some sort. Um, so, no, is commando the right one? Well, either way, bloodied something build. Um, not the best weapon, but also not the worst by far. Next up, 
What the hell? <laughs> what the actual hell? I mean, this is a better one than the other one, for definite. Um, 25 faster fire rate and 15% faster reload, so that means it's going to be doing more damage quicker. Um, I don't know what the hell happens. I always seem to get two of the same weapon. Um, and this is on two different characters, so that, that makes it very strange. Stalk, yeah, Stalker's Pipe Pistol. Go to hell. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just no. Um, next up, Zealot's Gatling Gun. Um, this is definitely usable for killing like scorched and the scorched beast queen i suppose um but other than that it's yeah quite quite a quite a disappointing first effect if i'm honest there's plenty of effects that i would much rather um on this type of gun for certain so yeah probably good for killing the scorched beast queen but not really much else nope almost pressed the wrong thing there uh let's see Medic short plasma pistol. Medics is one of those effects that I think if they fix it or do stuff with it, it could be good. But with the combination of effects on there, I don't think it's particularly amazing. Um, so yeah, this one's quite a, a, a disappointing weapon. Next up, ooh, Vampire's 50 cal machine gun. So obviously, Vampire effect on there, faster moving speed while aiming, and plus 33 percent chance to vats hit um yeah the middle effect is the worst out of the three if i'm honest the movement speed while aiming isn't exactly amazing either but it's still better than you know 33 percent vats hit chance um usable weapon but not something i would really be using on a consistent basis personally um there's p plenty of better effects you could have in the other two slots so here we have a Ghoul Slayer's Pipe Pistol. Um, obviously, it's not great. Uh, the explosive damage on there is always interesting. And the kind of thing with explosive weapons is you can usually sell them. Even if you're just selling them for the bare kind of minimum. But yeah, not, not a great weapon for certain. Next up, two-shot railway rifle. Um... This one's actually not too bad. Uh, shoots an additional projectile. Vats critical shots do 50% damage and plus 50 damage resistance while aiming. So, I mean, I've used real wheel rifles a lot uh, in the past and they do a lot of damage. So two shot with the Vats critical shot doing 50% extra damage. That could be okay, but again, there's better effects that could be in these slots obviously in there you would want explosive because it's a two-shot railway rifle the bottom one i don't know if you could get a better effect maybe yeah i think that one's okay i think literally it's just the middle effect that kind of lets the weapon down but still usable next up exterminators again we are getting a lot of plasma pistols tonight and obviously um extra damage to minor locks limb damage and that's currently it's trash trash weapon it's just getting scripted and the last on this character, Vampire's Ultra Sight Gatling Laser. Again, Bat's Critical Shot's not the best on this type of weapon, because uh, typically you're not going to use it with that. Vampire makes it quite good, because obviously it's got quite a fast fire rate. It's the same with the, um, the 50 cal. It's gonna get you a lot of health back but at the same time it's yeah there's better effects that could be in these two slots for certain um but it is what it is so this is the last character we'll be doing this on today obviously because that's 3000 script so let's see what we get yeah i mean assassin's not great the other two effects make this actually quite okay though with this type of gun because it doesn't reload very often i don't really think this is a particularly good effect on it personally um and i'm also not entirely certain if it's a good weapon against humans in the first place so yeah i, I honestly don't know about that weapon i think it's quite bad troubleshooter's pipe revolver um obviously damage to robots bashing damage by 40 uh, yeah trash 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 weapon next up oh here's a decent thing um reduced weight is always good in most cases damage increased with each consecutive hit on the same target bullets explode for area damage so obviously because the explosive is on there that makes it 
automatically an okay weapon then when you add the furious which is not a bad effect it's just not the best effect um it's definitely an okay weapon and definitely something that i can either sell or use um long term so yeah nice little pick with that next up another troubleshooter's pipe weapon um same problem with that other one it's just a bad effect on well it's not a bad effect it's an okay effect but it's again bad weapons um absolute trash next mutants fat man Eh, uh, i mean it's a fat man it's not particularly great the plus 10 percent damage is okay you know getting another 10 percent damage while aiming and 50 damage resistance while aiming um but the weapon itself isn't particularly great um I mean, I could be wrong. The, since the update, Fat Man, Fat Men, uh, the Fat Man could be an okay gun, but I honestly don't see it. Um, but correct me if I'm wrong. Definitely correct me if I'm wrong. Alrighty, who have we got next? Well, this is a very, 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 very good weapon. Um, bloody Tesla rifle. I absolutely love Tesla rifles. The plus 33% VATS hits chance and the VAT critical meter filling 50%. 15% faster rather yeah this definitely makes a decent weapon in a commando build a bloodied commando build this would melt stuff and I love this gun um unfortunately I don't run like a VATS based commando build on my other character but you know it's something I could always tweak I suppose uh but yeah cool weapon absolutely love it let's see instigating pipe pistol decent effect bad weapon again um though the the actual effects that go with it like the free effects and the, themselves are actually okay i mean you've got the increased hit chance with vats and the less action point cost along with double damage if the target's full health if this was on something like i don't know i'm trying to think of a gun that do, deals a lot of damage in one hit um if it's on something you know did a lot of damage this would actually be really good but it's it's not it's on a pipe pistol one of the worst weapons you can get so next up again with the assassin's harpoon guns i mean why and then yeah this weapon's just garbage absolute garbage two more to go so yeah it's the same problem with a lot of the pistols um it just it isn't good uh the effects are okay i mean if you had this on something that you could use against robots and daily ops this would be an okay weapon but it's just not it really is quite poor and our final pick of tonight what are we gonna get absolute garbage <laughs> it's basically the same thing again so it's absolute Either way, not a lot we can do about it, eh? So let's go into the top picks for tonight. Obviously the bloody Tesla rifle is going to make it on here. Again, it's a very good weapon in general. Um, you can use these on just about any build, depending on the variant. Obviously you'd have to use this one for full effect on the bloody build. But no, fantastic weapon, does a lot of damage, quick DPS, and obviously AOE. So I, I can't really say much more. It's just a really good weapon in general. We also have the Furious Short Combat Rifle. Um, it's, you know, not the best potential effects on this, but still, Furious is usable. Um, and it's usable on any build because you don't rely on addictions or low health or, you know, any other kind of thing. Anti-armor would have been particularly good as well, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Um, it's definitely an okay weapon and worth being in the picks. We also have the Furious Short Combat Rifle. Um, it's, you know, not the best potential effects on this, but still, Furious is usable. Um, and it's usable on any build because you don't rely on addictions or low health or, you know, any other kind of thing. Anti armor would have been particularly good as well, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Um, it's definitely an okay weapon and worth being in the picks. Now, obviously, we got two of these with 
similar effects, um, but this one's definitely the better of the two due to the faster reload speed. It's a gun that goes through bullets at the best of times, like it's going out of fashion, and with the extra fire rate, yeah, it's definitely going to be dealing a lot of damage. Um, the good thing about this, obviously, because it's two shot, it's again usable on just about any type of build um, with within reason anything with strength and then you could also just stack um heavy weapons perks and things like that so it's it's an okay weapon um i think i'll keep this one and probably sell the other one and last from tonight's uh, set of guns obviously is this one it's got the ignoring 50 percent of the target's armor faster fire rate and faster reload speed it's a pretty basic gun um definitely not the optimum of anything um but it's something that's gonna okay ish dps especially not on any specific build um obviously would benefit from commando for definite um just the automatic anything that boosts automatic um rifles would be perfect for this but you know not not the top tier of weapons but definitely usable so that's today's video guys if you enjoyed it today don't forget to leave a like a comment and subscribe now obviously i'm a little bit disappointed that i didn't get any of the daily ops brotherhood of steel weapons they're always pretty much the goal to to get from from uh, the purveyor but it is what it is you know you you can't always strike gold and if you've watched my other videos you certainly know that i very rarely strike gold but either way uh that is another video and we'll catch you next time in the wasteland.